hi and welcome to a new tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you the process on how to use Unreal Niagara Particle System to make this magic circle. This video is for someone who already know how to use Unreal a little, and I hope it to be useful for you. Let's start by create the material we gonna need for the magic circle by right-clicking in the folder and choose Materials. Let's open it and change the material blend mode to translucent and the shading model to unlit. Right click and search for particle color. And also press T to add a texture symbol. Let's convert it to a texture parameter in order to able to use it in the material instances. After that, let's add some multiply node and also put the texture that I made by using Krita. Don't worry I let a link for the texture in the description. Now the only thing that left, it's to connect them like this. And also, don't forget to check to cited in the material panel and create two materials instances from the master material like this and add the textures we gonna use. Now, let's begin the fun part. Let's right-click in the VFX folder, go to the FX categories, and choose Niagara System. Live it in the first option and click Next. For the starting point, we gonna choose the simple sprite first and click the plus icon. Now, what left is to name it however you like. After open the system, it should look like this. Now click on the sprite renderer and change the material to the one we just made. Go to the, the initialize particle module and let's change the sprite size to 500 on the X and also on the Y. Now, let's go to the emitter state module and change the loop behavior to infinite. In order to make the sprite face the ground, we need to add the Align Sprite to Mesh Orientation module in the Particle Spawn section. Add 1 to the Z axis and 0 to the rest. Let's go back to the Sprite Renderer module and change the Facing mode to Custom Facing Vector and Alignment to Unaligned. And boom, we get the sprite how it should be. For now, let's delete the scale color module because we don't need it. And give the sprite a bright color like this in the initialize module. magic circle need to rotate right, so that what we gonna do, let's add the sprite rotation rate module in the particle update section like this. If this give an error, just click fix it and things should work. At this stage, all the big part is already done. Let's duplicate the first emitter and add the second material instances in the sprite renderer module, like this. This one need to rotate and invert to make things look more interesting. That's look better. Let's 
Let's go further by duplicate it again. And also change the size and the rotation too. Now for the cherry on top. Let's again duplicate the second emitter and add the velocity module in the particle update section. If you get an error, just click fix it again. The goal is to make this circle goes up and fade as it go. That's why we gonna need the scale color module. In the scale alpha, let's convert it to a curve like this and tweak it a little bit. This is my final result. I just change the color a little and also add a custom color parameter in the system to let me change it when I want. I hope this was useful for you and don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Peace.